Uh, we know that the power system analysis or power system is a subject where we have to understand, uh, we have to learn the things which are actually related to generation, then from transmission, then to the distribution. So we should be having a clear idea of the interconnection of the system, how the system looks when it is total, in total. So we can have a discussion regarding the interconnection of the system now. Interconnection of the power system supply system. Interconnection of the supply system. So, uh, one understands that uh, either from the hydro power plant or from our thermal power plant or nuclear power plant or pump storage plant, whatever, we are getting a power generated from a three phase synchronous alternator. <coughs> so, the three phase synchronous alternator comes at the top of the the supply system and from that, that normally this 3 bits alternator is of 11 kilo volt or 33 kilo volt so we can have 11 kilo volt suppose here so this is actually generating power at 11 kilo volt so after that we need to step up for the transmission level this is called the transmission level. This is called the transmission level where we have to have the step up of the relevant you know, load to either to 132, either to 200, either to 400 kilowatt according to the situation, according to the uh, the distance of the uh, power to be transmitted. So we can have a transmission level approximately of 132 kilowatt or 200 kilowatt or to 400 kilowatt. Beyond that, it's called extra high voltage. So we will be having a transmission level of 132, 200 and 400 kilovolt in India. So, 11 kilovolt to 132 kilovolt is what obvious done by a step up transformer. So, we have a step up transformer over here. We are stepping up the voltage and after that it is going to fit into the transmission level and it is now 132 to 200 or 400 kilovolt. So, from this transmission level, we have two tie lines or grid going either first to the very large customers either to very large customers or other to other grid. Or we can say to other interconnections. <clears throat> we know the uses of interconnections, but we will be discussing them in uh, detail afterwards. But till now, we can understand, and till now, uh, due to some knowledge of our system, we know that why the interconnection is used because once if the one grid is failed. So, if the electricity supply is not uh, stopped at that time, we can have an interconnection and we can have the supply from some other generating plant such that there is no interruption in the supply system. <coughs> so, after that, we come to the another part which is called as the sub transmission level. <clears throat> the 
The subtransmission level and the transmission level are actually connected by a the transformer. Again, after the transmission, after the transmission from the station, and the, that station has already uh, that line, that transmission line was already covered. Now it is about to enter into the city. Uh, so we can have having a again a transformer. In between, that will be actually decreasing the voltage, or we will be having a uh, decreasing the voltage by a step down transformer. So this transformer would be a step down transformer. Again, from here we can have two different lines. Here we will be having large customers and here we can have large customers and two other small interconnections. <coughs> this sub-transmission level is for approximately for 66 kilo volt. After that again my customer is not reached till now, so we need to have a again step down in voltage and we'll be coming to the primary distribution and the secondary distribution. <coughs> we will be having two parts now. We can have two parts, the primary distribution and the secondary distribution. Primary distribution is of again the subtransmission level to the primary distribution again is interconnected by a transformer which is again a step down transformer and we made 66 kilo volt to either to 33 kilo volt or 11 kilo volt so in the primary distribution i have 33 kilo volt or 11 kilo volt whatever is required at that time coming to the secondary distribution secondary distribution is again a stepping down of this which we have seen by uh, which we have, we have not shown over here again secondary distribution is of 400 volts which is in three phase right now so this 400 volt is actually given to the customers <coughs> now coming to these three type or four type of transformer one again transformer is here we have again a transformer will be coming between the primary distribution and the secondary distribution and the customers will be fed in the downstream so what is the use of this interconnection supply system we understand how the power is flown from the generating plant to the customers we can have a Quick look on this again. The generating pipes generate the power, then it is going fed to the transmission level by a step up transformer and it is made at 132 kilo volt, suppose, and from that it is going to a sub transmission level which is actually some uh, stepping down the voltage to 66 kilo volt and then again the primary distribution which is again transferring it to by a step down transformer over here and it will be becoming a 33 to 11 kilo volt so after that again a step down transformer this a step down transformer will be coming and that will be going to the secondary distribution and that will be 400 volts and that will be actually fed to the customers so now one can understand 
that this, this step up transformer, this step down transformer, and this step down transformer are or a bit step. <coughs> what is this type of transformer? These are called as the power transformers. These are the power transformers. Whereas, sorry, this is not the power transformer. Yeah, this is also a power transformer. Sorry, these three are the power transformers. Whereas, I'll be having a distribution transformer in the end. This transformer will be as distribution transformer. Here, one more thing will be coming. This will be star to delta, where the star is rounded, and this will be delta to delta. This would be delta to star. The grounded, the second is rounded, and this would be the again. Delta to star because we need to have <clears throat> either we can have delta or the star configuration over here in the distribution transformer, whichever is required, which we have already seen in machine part that which type of transformers, distribution transformers should be, and uh, the power transformers and the interconnection of the uh, three phase transformer we have seen. So, one thing which is very important to over here is the grounding of this to things. Why this is ground actually? Because of the reason that if we are not grounding this thing, we have to run four parallel wires because three for RBY and four is for neutral. If we are not grounding this, then we have to carry four R, B, Y and neutral. A neutral wire from the transmission level to the secondary distribution and that will be since the conductor is of uh, aluminium or uh, sorry from copper and copper is very costly so rather than actually carrying that much of uh, uh, neutral from transmission level to the secondary distribution we can omit this thing and we can actually ground over here and we can take that ground from here in the secondary distribution so yeah, what is the use of this? That economically it is better that we are actually having only three conductors running and the fourth conductor is omitted and that will be a, a, a good thing in the uh, such that the cost of the conductor is now omitted. So the total cost, total cost of installation and total cost of generation and up to the Secondary distribution is lowered by some amount, so that will be actually increasing our efficiency. So that is one of the reasons that here it is grounded. The fourth conductor neutral is grounded over here and taken from here. So the additional cost which will be levied on the system from here to here, it will be carrying another fourth conductor, neutral conductor, that is now omitted and efficiency of the total thing will be increased and the cost of the generation of the electricity will also be decreasing for that. So we now understand how the interconnection of the supply system works.